Good morning, everyone. Thank you so, so much for coming. But to talk about everybody who's sitting at the amazing panel, uh, amazing women panel, uh, I would like to introduce Thelma Adams. I'm guessing this is the fifth anniversary of this panel. And you know, it tends to be more intimate. And uh, we used to usually have three or four people in addition to me. And this year, we have this grand spread. And I think it's wonderful. And it's kind of a testament that we're not you know, a sideline with just amazing women in film. It's like this big growth movement of women, and I'm excited by that. And now our amazing panel, Uma Thurman, the star of Motherhood, a local girl. Catherine's script is just beautiful. Catherine's way of writing, um, I, part of me feels the pain, you know, the budget constrictions, the time we had. If you read Catherine's script, I mean, it's just absolutely breathtaking. I love good writing, and, and I think that the writing is the, the inescapable first hand in filmmaking, it's screenwriting. Like what brought us together is the reading Catherine's script or getting, a, is feeling a shared experience that Catherine was, Catherine is letting something out that we all, when we tasted it, wanted, wanted, wanted to jump in there and say, I want to help articulate this. I need to be a part of this. I mean, my favorite performance of Uma's, as she knows, and Mira knows before I met Uma, was in Hysterical Blindness, which Mira directed and was written by a, play, a female playwright that Uma optioned her play and helped develop it into a film. And uh, when I think about the moments in that film that I really love, they're about that patience of watching an emotion happen. To be patient because it takes a long time to get things done. It takes a long time to figure out how to do them. Now I don't care how long anything takes, really. But I think when you're, in, when you're 21, it's hard to imagine that the span can be a long span and an interesting span, and things don't have to happen that second. Um, where I think I see independent filmmaking going, I think it's going to change enormously because there's not the support to distribute it. And um, things are going to start being, you know, uh, I mean, things are going to premiere online. You're not going to have the same theatrical distribution and experience. And the sense in the independent film community is that things are very much in flux. And nobody really knows what's going to happen. And I think 21 today uh, is a period of maturity, much more. It took me till I was 27 to start deciding I was going to be an artist. And I did take three years, but I tried different mediums. Oh, the future of independent filmmaking is wherever we want it to be. And it's definitely outside Hollywood um, because we have greater imagination than Hollywood. And we are not controlled by the people who are trying to judge who the audience are. You know, if someone is trying to determine who the audience is and shape the film according to a predetermined idea, there's no creativity. There's no chance for us to evolve as human beings. You can work outside the industry if you're persistent and you develop your voice. And I've worked 40 years, so, you know, it's finally, you know, pretty, you know, kind of a known name now. But you're not at the beginning. You just have to believe in yourself. And why not? If you can't, why should anybody else? Uh, well, in, in any case, I want to say that the men are interested and fascinated by the female subject. And it's very important to get them involved in the process <laughs> because that is what makes it all very exciting. And uh, also that clears uh, the differences and also calms down the war between the two genders. I mean, in my version, it's that partnership. You know, she is the beloved, he is the lover. And until the very end, when th that thing changes, and then it's, she never returns, you know? So uh, it's a different sort of a non-love story, love story, which I really wanted to preserve, you know? Oh so it was, it's, a very, it's a very organic film, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. with that epic s mm. sw sweep. So they have a lot to market, but let's see what happens. You well, know? two interesting points about Fox Searchlight, who I think are tremendous. Yeah, First okay. of all, they had 500 days <coughs> of summer this summer, yeah. and Zoe Dachanel was the lead, and they really put Zoe Dachanel as the lead and marketed as such. The other thing is the new co-president of Fox Searchlight is a woman, it's Nancy Utley, and it's one of the few terrific. women in that position. I mean, and she comes directly out of marketing. And I think they do a brilliant yeah. job. Thank you all for making this a terrific, terrific panel, extended as it is.